Well, let me just start by saying, um, I'm, I'm wiping my ears out of my tears out of my eyes here. Well, crying baby, but what she just said, the last verse she just read, um, this is the verse that I wrote down to talk about y'all today. So I just got in the words, you know. Um, I'd like to uh, congratulate all y'all seniors. Uh, this is a very big accomplishment for y'all. It only happens one time. You know, y'all go to college and y'all graduate from that too. But 12 years of schooling is a, a pretty big deal. So. Uh, most of the times, you want to go to college. You kind of want to, kind of want to be at school so to pursue your uh, job. But <clears throat> that's a big accomplishment. And you know, through y'all's um, time as being kids, you've uh, you've been through a lot of different things. And uh, you had family, you've had uh, friends, uh, other people that you don't even know that has been there to uh, help y'all along the way. And now it's. Now it's kind of um, getting to where you you know you're going on alone. You know you're kind of your parents and family and everybody's still going to be there for you, but you're kind of taking that next step. You know it's kind of you've been around the kiddie pool, you know you're running away, running around everywhere in that little tiny shallow way, but now you're starting to take that that deep that deep plunge off in that water. And it's uh, you got to have God to stay with you, but. Now, this first uh, verse I'm going to read here is from Galatians uh, chapter 5, verse 13, and it says, For you are called to freedom, brothers. Only don't use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but serve one another through love. And uh, when y'all uh, go and do and what y'all do when you get out of school, uh, we need to serve one another through love. I mean, that's God calls us to be people to serve and to love one another, and if if we do that, you know, we can we can stay with God on that right track and we can be uh, doing what we need to be doing. This next verse I'm going to read is from Peter uh, chapter 3, verse 4, and it says, Based upon the gifts they have received, everyone should use it to serve others. And if that doesn't explain what she just said, I don't know what does. And that, that if, if y'all don't get something out of that, that's, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I was over there sobbing, and I don't sob too much. But when, I, when she said, when she started talking about what she said, it just made the hair stand up the back of your neck, and it just fired you up, led you ready to ready to serve God. You know, and uh, I know a few of y'all here. You know, and um, the seniors, y'all find out that y'all gonna get a Bible and y'all gonna come and learn. But one thing y'all gotta think about is why y'all sitting in church today, and that that doesn't just go through the seniors and know, but why are you sitting here today? Are you sitting here because you were invited to church to come get a Bible? Or are you sitting here to serve God? And once you leave here, what are you going to do? You know, how are you going to serve Him through your life? You know, me and my dad got to talking yesterday about what I was going to talk about. And um, there was a, he talked about, a, you know, you have a day when you're born and you have a day when you pass away. What is that day in the middle going to do for you? What is everybody going to say when, when you're gone? You know, that day in the middle is a big impact on your life. How is that going to show God? You know, I mean, that's just, that's that day in the middle is what you have to think about. And how are you going to serve others and love others in that day in the middle? This next verse I'm going to read is John 12, verse 26. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. Where I am, there my servant will also be. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. You know, that kind of goes back to talents, you know, uh, to serve God. You know, you don't know, some people might not know the talent they have. You know, I know Anne Marie, she has talent with working with animals. I mean, that's, she's probably well, seen that since she was this tall. You know, I mean, she, she's... Let's always have that love and compassion for animals. And every time she, her, her dad and mom want to have, have to ask her to go feed the animals. She's out there, out there doing it, you know. And Bailey, you know, she can sing. And there's a lot of different talents and people that, that, that we have to find. And if you haven't found your talent yet, you know, it's, you got to keep on finding and working for God and serving for God. And you can find that talent because nobody, ever, God puts somebody on this earth for a reason and a purpose. And everybody on this earth has a purpose. And if you haven't found that purpose, well, God's going to lead you down the path if you get with Him and you go with Him. This last verse I'm going to read here, I think, kind of sums this up. But it's Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It says, For God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and love you have shown for Him and His people. 
and you know we um, we do something good and or we you know we we feel we, we feel that we just feel God you know we I mean it's not just man I'm doing this good and I'm just not even gonna think about anything I'm just gonna keep on going to the next you know and we just each time we do something good I mean you can't tell me you can't feel something I mean there's always something there and when we do something good you know God is uh, leading us in His way and He will He'll show us what we need to do and not what we think is the big picture you know and what we try to go after to find is something big but it's not always something big we have to go find it. you know those little those little tiny things where that stuff starts at something starts from little and it goes to bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and what we need to know where that little spot starts we can start that little spot we can grow as a person and a christian family you know and we can get better and better and better with god and it's just it's amazing on what you can do and what you can learn as a senior graduating five years old zero years old 100 years old you, god is always with you and if you have him you can continue to serve your whole life and that's the purpose that god put us on this earth for so i'm going to uh, close this out here in a little prayer so if y'all would pray, please pray with me Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the many blessings bestowed upon us. Dear Lord, I ask thee to keep all these seniors in your prayers, Lord, as they go on to do bigger and better things, Lord. And uh, even the people that's not seniors, Lord, you you know that you got us and you instruct us to serve you and your people, Lord, and to show love and compassion for one another. I ask, uh, please uh, stay with everybody, Lord, that uh, needs help. And uh, I... Uh, ask you to serve all of us, Lord, and have us serve uh, people as you served us. Uh, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everything you've given us. Amen.